All right, guys, so it's almost laughable at this point, but we're back in here with some Hydra shenanigans from Plarium that it seems like every week they're doing some changes inside of Hydra that is basically ruining the game mode for a lot of players. Now, this one is especially unique because this one wasn't talked about anywhere. It was a bug that was on the test server that was changed when it was on the live server which now with the recent patch update that you did this morning, which by the way, don't use your Hydra attacks just yet. Give it a few days. Some of this stuff may change. But as of this morning, ally attacks are basically ruined. However, with that, multi-hitting skills have also been ruined, which is why Newt probably was in the thumbnail asking if he was nerfed. Because on his A3 skill, we're going to attack this head on the far left. Typically, this skill should do three hits. But let's see what it does here. Now, this is normal Hydra. One, two. There's just two hits. We're missing an entire third hit. Now, in this case with Newt, that wasn't a huge amount of damage we lost. But if you're using Marius on Nightmare, that is massive amounts of damage that you're going to be missing out on. Matter of fact, let's take a look at my Trunda Hydra team that I did a few weeks ago. This was on Nightmare, and this is a Thorion about to hit ahead. Pay attention to how much damage he deals with his double hitting skill on a head, let me remind you, that is about to die. Like, one Athorion hit is going to kill this head. But pay attention. So, he does his A2 skill, which is a max HP effect, which, by the way, he's in tomorrow's uh, progressive event. But the first one hits for 600,000, and the second one also hits for 600,000. This head, without a doubt, would have been dead by that first 600,000 hit. But the old way Hydra is working is that each one of these hits gets to go through and save all that damage. If that was Marius, that would be, you know, uh, 1.2 million damage missed out on with the current version of Hydra because that first hit would have just killed it. This next two would have just been overkill damage. Now, when it comes to multi-hit versus the alley attack, the alley attack issue currently is that if you're using, say, Mikage for ally attack on a Hydra head, this was already talked about on the test server. Essentially, what's going to happen, it could be any ally attack champion, Teox, um, Yincessa, whatever her name is, these various different ally attack champions. But what's happening is Mikage sends everybody in for ally attack. If the first person kills the already decapitated head, takes it at zero HP, nobody else joins in the attack. It's the same thing as what's happening with the current multi-hitting champions like Trunda, like Newt, like a Thorion. If any of these champion skills take a max HP head, or sorry, a decapitated head down to zero HP, well, any extra spillover damage just isn't working. But where we get into a sticky situation is remember how a Thorion did his, uh, well actually no, Newt did his triple hitter skill and that third hit didn't count for anything because the Hydra head was essentially dead in this current iteration, whereas the previous one, multi-hits into a decapitated head was fine. The issue is, is that Trunda is the biggest issue with Hydra. Her skills are really weird in how they act, and a lot of these changes have been to try to get her more on par with everybody else. However, her A2, which does all the damage, doesn't do a multi-hitting skill. So, these heads shouldn't be taking that much damage. But whenever I, I use her A2 on this head on the far right, we're going to do 2.2 million damage to that head. That is way more damage than that, that head could actually take. It doesn't have that much HP. So essentially, single hitting champions currently, specifically Trunda, are very strong still, which is good. They're good to be strong. That's no problem. The problem is these multi-hitting champions are going to be severely reduced in effectiveness because they're getting, well, if it's a triple hitter, a third of their damage each hit. So if you block two of their hits, well, they just lost two thirds or 60% of their damage, which is horrible. A double hitter could potentially be losing 50% of their damage, which is gonna make drastic effects in overall Hydra. Now in all of this, there may be a sliver of hope and I do wanna recommend players do not hit Hydra for the next few days. There may be some rollbacks of these changes. I sure hope there is, honestly. But in the Discord, they say that the multi-hit is being investigated as a bug. The ally attack is currently being said as intentional. Now, I don't know if this has been officially announced yet or not, but I think the ally attack, and I think every single player watching this video would agree, the ally attack should be rolled back to where champions doing the ally attack, all the damage goes into the Hydra head, decapitate it or not, and the multi-hit 100%
should be rolled back. There is no reason at all a multi-hitting skill it should have its damage cut off. That is absurd, considering so many top-tier Hydra champions, Marius, Athorion, and Newt, all have multi-hitting multi max HP skills, and that is a big reason why they're so good. Matter of fact, tomorrow's 15x event has two of the best, Acrisia and Wallmaster. It changes Hydra so much. This is far worse than the previous Hydra changes. This would be something that drops players out from getting the... 1.2 billion chests, and even some of these personal ones over here. This would be a severe change for so many players. And honestly, player M, there's no reason to do this. It is beyond ridiculous, especially considering Padraig was a guaranteed event. A lot of players went for him for Hydra. Mikage is a fusion that people work hard to get for Hydra, uh, mainly, I'd say. A lot of players use her in Hydra. She's amazing in Arena, too, so it doesn't just completely negate her. But Cardiel... And then two specific champions that players wailed out for heavily on for Hydra being Teox, who joins in on attacks. He'll be nerfed pretty heavily, also with multi-hitting skills. And Yincesa, also a champion who players wail on for Hydra, specifically for the A1 skill that allows allies to join in our attack, also be heavily nerfed. So you're heavily nerfing champions who players have spent a lot of money on for no reason and don't even announce it. So guys, I guess the best thing to say right now is honestly, it's a horrible change. I hope Plarium gets a ton of backlash on this very quickly and rolls it back. Everything's going to be fine. I don't know why they would even imagine doing this. It is terrible across the board. It's just, I mean, there's, there's no reason for it at all. This was never unbalanced. It's just terrible. And players have invested a lot of resources into doing this kind of stuff. So the best thing I can say, guys, is don't use your Hydra keys just yet. Try to wait and use them and then see if in the next few days or the next few hours, Plarium announced something official about this and hopefully roll it back. But as of right now, there is no official announcement related to anything, and the content creator chat also doesn't really have any information that you are missing out on. So for now, just don't do your Hydra stuff just yet. Wait a little while, and hopefully we see some uh, the changing of their mind, basically, because this is, hopefully it's all just a bug, guys, honestly. If not, Hydra's just got and basically ran into the ground for so many players. I mean, it just changes so many champions that Hydra will become much less enticing. Heck, even Shamel will be nerfed. Even Shamel from the A3 ability. Matter of fact, that's like every champion on Playerium's 15x tomorrow. A lot of them. Shamel, his triple hitter, boom. One hit kills him. The other two are useless now. But either way, guys, I hope Playerium rolls this back. Good luck. Let me know your thoughts down below. And... I'll catch you in the next one.